Right, I'm stood, I think, just about on the highest point of the mountain. I'm not sure, I don't know if you can see there. In the distance there is the sea. I'm going to turn this round and the sea is still there. And we're going to carry on going round and round and round. There's the sea again and again. And there is the sea again. So I'm virtually stood in the middle of the, ma uh, um, of the island, looking all around the island. It's not quite the highest point. It does go higher. But this is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely. It's Christmas Day and I am boiling. I've got an anorak on. I've had to take my um, gloves off and my hat because I'm so warm. I'm sweating on Christmas Day. And everybody said, you'll need winter woolies when you go there. Well, I haven't worn one yet. It's a lot milder than um, Halifax, where I come from. A lot, a lot milder. We get bad winds, but we did there. No snow here, yeah. although I think I'm at the ice point here. Yeah. Right, get here. Here. Got to be careful, near sheep. Right. I think I am now at the highest point. Oh. oh, wow. On Mull, over there, the highest peaks are covered in snow. This is actually a really high point here. I've walked for ages. Over there, I thought this, you can see the houses right in the distance over there. I thought they were on our island, but they're not. That's, um, I'm not sure if that's Sail, Seal, sorry, or Coon. Down there, I'm trying, that's, the house is just in the valley and the drop there is on its way to Tobernocky. I can't even say it words around here. And then right over in the distance is where the ferry is, and that is South Cowan, and I live over there somewhere down in the valley. It's amazing. Now, I'm putting out a cosmic order that I can stop here for as long as I want, which is quite possibly for the rest of my life because I just love it so much. And when I came here, I felt so at home. The people are amazing. The place is so beautiful. Now, this is Christmas Day. Imagine summer. Look at the sky. It's beautiful. Summertime is going to be absolutely fantastic here. I can't wait. I'm going to be rowing soon. Next year, rowing. Oh gosh, on the sea. Can you believe? I think I'm amazingly lucky. I just need um, an income now so I can stay and pay my rent and my bills and ask for everything else. I'll just be patient and wait. But I'm just overwhelmed by it. Every time I come out I find another beautiful view, another gorgeous place to go. And today... I'm having my dinner cooked for me at half past four, so it's going to be tea time. And oh no, come here! This is just oh wow. There's sheep everywhere. There's more sheep than people. Easy. Wow. I think what I might do is rent uh, my spare room out. You know, as a holiday let to people. Let it out quite cheap, but enough to pay my rent. <laughs> and then I can stake out. I reckon. If we said... Um, 100 quid a week in summer, including bills, I think that's fair. Bonnie! Come here! That'd pay my rent. There's no ferry today, 
So everybody who lives here is either on the island or they're off visiting family somewhere else. I know there's a few gone down to England and there's some who've even gone abroad. <clears throat> and I got told that there's about 160 people living here at the moment. 160. So <laughs> that's less than Mixenden on a full island. I just, wow. If you love nature and you love peace and quiet, this is perfect. If you love being alone, perfect. Oh, I'm going to go home now and have a bath and clean up and get ready to go out later and have some fun. I'm just so grateful that I'm here and so lucky. I'm just so happy that I found a beautiful place to live. It was calling me. It was calling for me. I'm going to find some treasure on this island. I'm going to find out why I came because I don't know yet. I feel like I was pulled here. I belong here. And most of the people that live here are not Scottish. They've come from other places like me. Lancashire, Yorkshire. And they came here a lot of them for holidays. And just fell in love with it, retired and came here. So a lot of people have done the same as me, but obviously they've got a partner and they've got an income and pensions and whatever, and I've got bugger all. I'm here on a prayer, man. A prayer. I'm not going to go sign on. I'm going to do everything I can not to go down that road, because that, to me, is symbolic. Going out dolls like saying you've given up. And I'll never do that. It's challenging because uh, it's challenging because I am not used to being on my own and I've never earned enough money to live on by myself. My wages were always topped up with tax credits or a partner. So I've never had money in my own right. Never enough to live on. I had to have lodges or... Oh, God. So, this is a challenge in more ways than one. Challenging to me to learn how to live by myself, independently, in every way possible. It's not easy. I'm not going to make a big issue out of it, though, because um, it just gives you more obstacles. And the more I think about things, the more it, it gets me down. It's better to not think sometimes. Sometimes the best thing you can do is just live your dream and worry about the consequences later. At least I can say I've done it. I've had five weeks tomorrow here. Longest holiday ever. In five weeks, I've, I know 30 people on the island. More now. More like 40 so that's like a quarter of the population already in five weeks, nearly. I think that's some doing. I'm lucky. So I'm going to go now for a nice long walk. Have a great day, everybody. I will keep coming back and telling you as much positive news as possible. Bye-bye.